cloak. And yeah, this should be fine. Let's check our unit technology and see what we got that's new. Uh, new upgrades for everybody. What did we get here? Additional weapon that deals 20 damage to their target every 30 seconds. Just a straight up rail gun. That's really cool. Can I put that on Marines? I feel like this is going to be really good on Marines. And then we put the Super Stim Pack on Marauders instead. I think, I think so. That might seem a little crazy, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Goliath, this is all fine. Oh my god, I had Liberator Cloak last mission and I didn't use it. I'm so stupid. I'm sure there's going to be a million comments. There's going to be a million comments, I already know. Uh, okay, so... Ooh... Yeah, I mean, the more units we can put this on, the better, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and put Super Stim on these fellows. And then who can I give the range to? Not the Banshees. Oh, no, no, I just haven't equipped it yet. Well so we can give the range to the Banshees. That might be... Oh, no, this is the Tech Lab. We would need Tech Labs for our Marauders. The Super Stim Pack is so good, though. But the internalized Tech Module is too good to pass up when we can have reactors on everything. So who can use the Super Stim Pack? Nobody else, right? Oh, now I don't know. Let's put it... Oh, Siege Tanks is too good. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. You know what I'm going to do is... Move move these things around. And I oh, can't use it on the Goliath. Okay. Um, uh, well, who, who gets the railgun? You know what? It doesn't matter. I just don't think it matters. We just need to get... I think I just want to get going here. Let's give it to the Marines. Let's give oh, it to the Marines for sure. And then nobody gets the Super Stim Pack. Oh, no. Jay Barino, you're so bad. Oh, no. I don't care. Let's go. It's cool to be back on Antigua Prime. Is this the same Antigua Prime from StarCraft 1? I believe so. Experiment with different equipment and unit technology in response to the type of enemies you expect to combat. Exactly. <clears throat> so going in blind on a first attempt, this does not bode well for that. So I suppose we can check out what we're up against. If it goes really, really bad, then I'll just make a cut and come back with some different equipment. Might be worth it. Who knows? But it looked like there's a bunch of infestors, so we probably don't want to clump up a bunch of marines. We might want to stick with more of a, a mech force or a utility force of cloak banshees. Well, we don't have cloak banshees. Cloak liberators, something like that. We'll need to clear this area for our base. Unfortunately, there are still investors lingering here. Not for long. Of course. I'll let you know when you approach one. That seems interesting. So we'll have the opportunity to remove certain broods. That actually seems really cool, so I take it back. It looks like we're going to be facing... We're going to be specifically facing not infestors. All right. Time to search those coordinates for evidence. Okay, so we don't have a lot of space here, so let's go ahead and consolidate... Let's go ahead and consolidate our buildings right now. And let's go ahead and start mining gas. And I think priority number one is to set up as many of these ghost academies as possible. Because we have seen their power in the past. So let's go ahead and get these set up. They just seem so important. I will get a fast orbital command so I can scan. I uh, well, not really scan, but mostly for... Um, mostly for call down to save some minerals eventually. So I don't know if... I mean, there was a, an achievement that said to... Over here. Not or to destroy all the Zerg structures. So I think I'm gonna avoid that. And uh, I mean, if I don't have to, it seems like I could just avoid that and just go for the beacon. So okay. what I'd rather, what I'd like to do is set up some, some defense in my base first, and then we'll take Nova and start going around to the beacon. So we're gonna do a mix of bunkers, siege tanks, liberators, and some, uh, and some turrets here and there. So hopefully, that is the proper thing to do here. I hope so, and I just want to get more Ghost Academies so that I can use... No Basically, I can be on the offensive with Nova and nuking while just sitting in my base and staying bunkered up. Now, apparently, there's also a an expansion to take up there. I can worry about that later, I suppose, but for right now, I'm just going to be focused on getting my economy set up. 
So we'll start getting the, the gas now. We'll have three ghost academies, and maybe we can hopefully get some more. Wherever we can fit them, the issue here is going to be space, unless we find a defensible expansion. It really just depends on how aggressive the enemy is going to be as well. I mean, these are the things we can't know when we play... When we play uh, blind. So really the issue is... I tend to be overly conservative my with defense. Rushing in from our right side. I'll get my defenses in place right away. Um, I have no defenses. <laughs> oh god. Uh, are, are you serious? Is this real? Is this real right now? Uh, cloak, cloak the liberators. And, oh god, Nova. Nova isn't cloaked. Alright, we need to turn these into this mode and then come on over here. Stun him inside the liberation field. Oh, dear. Snipe the last one, Nova. Okay. Uh, yikes. Um, was that supposed to happen? I can only imagine yes. You guys can decloak. And I need to set up, like, a, a large defense. So let's start getting some siege tanks out as soon as possible. We're, you know, we're mining reasonably so right now, but it's, it's, it's... I'm frightened. Uh, so we need bunkers and tanks set up like as soon as possible. Surprisingly, the city's rail lines are still functional in this quarter, but the exits are blocked by creep. If you clear it out, it will be easier for you to travel throughout the city. Okay, so five ghost academies. I'd love to get more. Oh, Nova. Don't be surrounded, please. All right, snipe, snipe. Stun these and just start, just get crazy. Uh, I think I should have gone with the shotgun this mission. Definitely should have gone with the shotgun. Okay, let's set up bunkers. Back up. I got a nuke ready. I don't think I need to use it right now. Okay, and then, yeah, so we've got these nukes coming, and then let's go ahead and start setting up bunkers. Well, everywhere, I guess. And I would like another barracks so that I can start pumping out faster marines, more siege tanks. Um, I guess we could just kill these like normal. I don't really care about the overseer. I just really need to focus on defense, honestly. Well, let's hit the first one. Let's see what this does. I don't know. This is the first location, Michael. My memories are faint. So I'm going to take another dose of terrazine. As stated in your mission files, this planet is considered a high-risk target for the Zerg. We don't want to raise war, but we have developed new security equipment that can incapacitate the Zerg in the event of an invasion. We need to set it up quietly, then we'll be able to keep everyone safe. You have not enough men. Understood. The first step is ready for activation. Direct my efforts. Good. Now you need to calibrate the equipment to defend against one of the Zerg species. Wait, what? I can pick this? So, we're setting down a Psy emitter. Nova thinks it's a Psy disruptor, basically. So I assume whichever one we pick is what's going to get end up in this location. I guess it's what do we want to get rid of? Is that how I should interpret this? What of these things do we need to get rid of? Lurkers are going to be annoying, but not unmanageable. Ultralists will soak up a lot of hits. Banelings and Broodlords, maybe Nidoswarms are going to be the things I think that I really need to focus on. Let's go Broodlords first. All right. We're ready to proceed to the next you have not enough minerals. I'm not sure if this is... You have not enough minerals. Okay, there's the Greater Spires. Confirm that last. Uh, okay. Not sure what that was about. I was supposed to be securing this place against the Zerg. It doesn't seem to have worked. You are near the only Greater Spires in the area. <laughs> I'll destroy them. Then we'll be rid of those brood lords. Oh god. Um, well, I've got one random tank here too. Just keep, just keep stunning them, Nova. We're gonna do it again too. Just keep stunning them. 
Holy crap. Okay, yeah, these attacks are huge. They are very, very large, very hard to deal with. Okay, let's try this again. I've changed Nova's loadout, but not by much. I've given her the shotgun and the pulse grenades this time around, and hopefully this helps. You have not enough minerals. Okay, so I can skip this because we know what happens. Let's go ahead and stick with the Broodlords that I was going for. So the idea here is I'll be able to clear out those big waves of Zerglings. Big, big waves of Zerglings. Okay, so here are the Broodlords, and again, I'm going to try to nuke this area with with Nova eventually, but I, I revealed them, so I might go over to the right and try that next. All right, we need gas. Right. You have not enough minerals. You are near the only great aspire in the area, however. The color illuminates my path. Broodlords. Okay, so we know which direction they like to come from. So if I can just use Nova to help clear out these attacks, I'll be able to snowball a little bit. And I think that's going to be the key. I can also move out in this direction and start getting rid of some of this stuff. Well, not really. Um, we can just do this. And yeah, that's much better. We can also just blast them with the shotgun and then move up and just slowly whittle away at this thing. We should have enough energy for when that big mass of Zerglings comes. So the faster that I can get this set up, the better. Get some extra Marines out. Right. I'll get my defenses in place right away. Okay, we really just need cash. Okay, this goes down and hit him with a grenade. That was a bad grenade, but hey, see, that worked up out way better. So let's go ahead and hit the, the, other, uh, the other beacon. And just keep making units while we get more siege tanks. Nova here. I'm taking more tanks. Keep an eye on things, right? That's very rude, Rigel. I've been doing my best. They're definitely lying to us. Uh, Nidus Worms, perhaps? It might be good to just get rid of Nidus Worms, because those seem like they would be annoying. Honestly, I hate all of these units. Let's get rid of the Nidus Worms. I need to know more. Something seems off about all of this. I mean, I'm saying get rid of. I'm not really getting rid of those units. I'm just making them vulnerable, if you will. So, that will be nice. We're gonna need a lot of nukes to deal with this, though, so let's, uh... Okay, not enough minerals, so we just gotta focus on our income. It most... I think it means he's gone, Nova. Let's... Let's, let's, let's be realistic here. Uh, let's get another Ghost Academy. Oh really? You know I'm occupied? That's how you would describe it? I'm occupied? Good god, Rigel. This is this is very intense. This defense is very, very intense. So uh yes. I am indeed occupied. I could try to make a run for the next set of stuff. I also want to move up here and start nuking, but I don't have enough nukes ready. I spent a lot of money on that last mission, or my, in my, on my first attempt, was getting those nukes set up. So instead, this time, let's just focus on playing very defensively, but also moving out with Nova. We already have two out of five, so the more that we can make vulnerable, the better. Getting the uh, new equipment might be helpful, and then eventually we can clear the subway system. Hopefully. Okay, you guys hop on in here. Let's get Marauders out and Marines. OK, 
Okay, we really just need the Marauders at this point. Marauders to fill up those bunkers. Give me some tanks. Set these up so we can do tanks, liberators, the works. Okay. I'm going to start needing to get upgrades. And I'm, I'm going to really rely on Nova to help me with defense early on here. So, And then we just want to get more nuke silos. Like as many nuke silos as I can really fit in this area. More Zerg are moving to strike our base. You have They're coming from the top minerals. side this time. They're coming from the top side. Okay, we've got a little more defense this time, so we can just hang out in the middle in this section and then and then start hitting them. And what do we want to get rid of? I really think Broodlords, but I need more nukes. So let's do that. That is a huge help. And then do this. All right. How you like me now, Zerg? All right, so that's a huge help and is incredibly necessary, if you ask me. So let's throw down a nuke right here and be a little more safe this time, because... Uh, you have not and there we go. So we're just going to wait for more nukes as we try to snowball with tanks and marines and set up a defense in each area. I like how fast I can siege with the tanks. That's really, really neat. Though not really that helpful, to be honest. So, uh, you know, neat versus helpful. Who's to say? Okay, so we've got more tanks coming up. And now we're just waiting for money as we slowly, slowly try to make our way to where we need to, to be in terms of being defensible. I'd like another, like another barracks. We've got another nuke ready, so let's head on up here. Now, I do know that they are going to come from both sides, so maybe we can set up tanks on one side and then use Nova on the other side. So let's move on up and try to nuke one more time. Time to clear them out. Okay, hopefully this gets rid of this greater spire, and then we can inch forward. Cool, one down. What, two to go? Two to go. So if we can get rid of all of those, we're in hopefully really good shape. But we just have to inch our way through these bases. From the shadows, okay, throw this down. Keep getting more tanks. Keep getting more marines. And then I need an engineering bay. I would like more nukes. This guy's stuck. Can we get him out before? Yeah, okay, great. Okay, and probably just set up more bunkers here. So let's set up a bunker here, and then eventually we'll get turrets as well as we focus on upgrading. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Maybe more liberators would do the trick. Okay, which side is going to come at us first, is my question. I'm feeling more comfortable. Again, it really depends on who's coming at me first. Looks like the top side will get to us first. Okay, so Nova, move on up. Do your thing. Blam. Blam. All right, and then run down here if you can. And we've got our liberators here. We're going to probably lose this bunker. Almost didn't, though. So, you know, we lost one marine. That's fine. I wonder if they can use those mag rifles inside the bunkers, because if so, that would be really, really cool. Um, we lost a minimal amount there. We've got another nuke, so let's come on up and keep inching up into the uh, the broodlord section. Keep calling down supply, getting siege tanks. And uh, setting up a you second bunker down here. Okay, and I need to upgrade my siege tank uh, attack. Research Let's get two complete. more liberators to set up on the other side. More marines. Oh dear. Okay, and then Nova, you're up. Let's go ahead and... Can we get close enough? Yeah, so this patrol's near me, unfortunately. It's like it knows. It's, it's like they somehow know... Okay, why don't you hold fire while we do this? Nope, see, it, it, it's like they recognize when I'm getting close, and I don't have snipe. Maybe I should have gone for snipe. Let's go ahead and throw this down and see how many things we can kill before she goes down land. That may have been worth it because we got rid of a lot of the stuff there. That may have been worth it. I'm not really sure. Probably not realistically. Okay, more marauders and marines. Keep on sieging up. We've got liberators coming out now, so hopefully these will help us. And we need the ability to repair my bunkers. Nuclear missile ready. All right, nukes are coming out, and I could probably stand to get even another one. So let's do that. Start upgrading my tanks. And it really seems like the key is having proper Nova abilities here, because if you don't have proper Nova abilities, you're not going to be able to defend. I have some very bad news. Banelings, mutilisks, and nidus worms are nearing the right side of our base. Oh, jeez. So I'm going to quick save right now. I'm thinking I maybe I should just, like, make a bolt for the exit. 
like the actual exit, because if not, this is never really going to work. Okay, Liberator, why don't you go ahead and set up here? We can get two more. Okay, so they're coming in from the right side. And go ahead and throw your grenade. I would say that was quite effective. Getting rid of the Nidus Worms. Getting rid of the Nidus Worms. There you go. Am I still detected? I am. Okay, so she might go down to this. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, sure, sure. So cover me, cover me, friends, while I make sure that we survive this. Okay, and then, uh, oh, I want to get rid of the Broodlord so bad, but the Nidus Worms also seem annoying. Maybe we can make a bolt for this side. Without being seen by the goddamn overlords, or overseers. Okay, we've got a bunch of extra nukes, so let's see if we can chain these before the overseers see us. And of course, this one's gonna see us, but there are no enemies. Yes! Haha! Uh -huh. Okay, success. Let's see if we can maybe grab even another one. We have another nuke. No, I don't think so. Nope. Yep, they keep they keep wanting to come towards us. Let's see if we can drop this before the overlord gets or the overseer gets to us and, and we've dealt too much damage. Come on, come on, come on, land. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. Okay, so we need to lay down some depots. Running out of space here. That's about what I expected. Okay, more liberators. Set up here. Liberators. As you intend. Set up over here. I will oblige. And then more tanks. And then we'll set up a group of marines to just like hang out in our base where necessary. Once Nova's back, I think I'm gonna go back and start nuking the, the north side. Oh no! Okay, come on, come on, come on. 12 seconds. I need to hold out until this gets to me because I I need Nova to defend against this. Come on, four seconds. Yeah, okay, we should be good. I know what I have to do. Okay, no Nova, move up to the front. This is this is all you right here. Yeah, okay. So I feel a little safer because of that. The Mutalisks are annoying. Uh, I could probably stand to set up some extra turrets. Okay, so Nova, we're going to go up to the top. How are we looking on, on nukes? Not great. I could probably even get another one. Let's get um, some more Liberators. Tanks? We need more tanks over here for sure. This is scary, and I'm, I'm going to run out of money here before I can make too much progress. That's for sure. But I think getting rid of the Broodlords next would definitely be the best. I have two nukes. It's really getting by those Overseers. It's almost worth letting her die for 30 seconds and so take out one of them. Yeah, because we're killing the, the Zerg around this area, so they're not going to be able to do too much. There we go. And then we get rid of the, the Zerg that are just sort of hanging out. Let's just get rid of this. And gone. And then let's just start shooting the shit out of this because all the other Zerg are gone. All right, holy shit, this is <laughs> stressful, but as we as we get rid of each section, I'm feeling a little bit safer. I, I honestly, I just want more nukes. I just want more and more nukes. If, if I can stockpile just a crap ton of them, then I'm feeling in really, really good shape. Let's get some more SCVs out and just keep making groups of Marines. Uh, I am gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. It's absolutely worth it. It'll get rid of that spine crawler as well, and no brood lords will be totally worth it. Oh, good. Okay, I don't have a nuke to get rid of the overseers, though I could just run in and blast these with. Ah, now there's more stuff here than I expected. As you Feral Zerg are closing in on our base. Okay, let's get back with Nova. Got more liberators. Really just depends on where they're going to be. All right, both sides, actually. So let's move on up and do some damage to this group. I share your aim. That was a dream. So let's get back down here. I think I think my existing forces can handle that. So let's get back to base and try to do something about this side before something terrible happens. I don't think I'm going to make it there in time. I share your aim. My defense is, 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 it's holding out. It's holding out. I think I could stand to get a turret or two over here, but, I mean, it'll hold out for now. Uh, okay, so let's run on up and grab this area, 
and we can maybe clear out the subway to allow us to traverse the, the areas a little bit better. Get more liberators. I can't afford them. Well, no, I don't have depots. I have not even bothered with the expansion. I just don't feel comfortable to push out. I'm just going to get more tanks. Uh, we don't have to worry about broodlords. Okay, all that's here are through these things. You know what I can do is just throw a nuke down right here. Let's do it, and then we're going to hit this beacon, which will allow us to move into another section, whatever it may be. Okay. I'm feeling comfortable. I will oblige. know what happens next. I share your aim. Status updates? Major no. field depleted. We're here at the third site. It's taking a little longer than expected. The color illuminates my path. Your extraction team is waiting. Move quickly. As you intend. I still have to do a sweep on our operations. Wrong so we're done with the activations. Our mission backup piles are there. The color illuminates my path. Alright. I'm almost finished. Okay. Ooh, make two selections. What do we really want to get rid of? I'm leaning banelings and lurkers. I think those two would be very nice to get rid of. There's some psionic resonance after the activation. The hell is this? Mineral field. That's really cool how the scene changes. How many nukes do we have? Two. Uh. I'd like to wait. I'd like to wait. We weren't defending this world, Zerk. I share your aim. As you intend. Can be difficult. Not as difficult as a defender's life. Mineral field depleted. Say again? You tell him, Nova. Might as well start throwing down some nukes. I share your Is it this? Please don't come near me. Please don't come near me. Why do these overseers just love me so much? Okay, well, we got rid of a lot of the defenders, and I think maybe one of the baneling nests, so that's worth it. I hope she comes back in time, though it seems like our defenses are, are near self-sufficient. We might be losing bunkers here and there, but I think we're doing pretty well. I'm just going to keep dumping money into marines as like a backup force. And again, space will continue to be an issue as we need room for supply depots. When she comes back, how many nukes will we have? We have one. No sign of, a of an attack yet, so that means we've got 20 seconds. Where Nova will definitely be back in time. So I'm playing this very, very, very carefully. Here's, a, uh, here's the expansion that I ref have refused to take because I am just horrified. Just absolutely horrified about this. So which side needs the Liberator? It's really anal about keeping it even. All right, let's do this. Direct my efforts. I have four nukes. Maybe I should wait. The Zerg are sending lurkers and I will from oblige. The right from the right. Our ravens can detect the lurkers and other burrows. I share your aim. Okay. Let's get two ravens to hold position over each area. And let's go out and meet them. And then I want to go back up and go for the Lurkadin. Alternatively, I could just nuke this area. That would be clever, I think. There we go. So we got to outrun this Overseer and hope that my defenses can destroy these units. And I think they will be able to. This amount of Liberators is... is Yes, it's doing it. All right, so that's the next attack. So let's move on up here. I need to open up this uh, this subway route so I can get up here faster. Because I think that that's what it's about. You need to get Nova home in time to defend against these attacks. And as long as you can do that, then you're probably going to be in decent shape. So let's just kind of flesh... Well, maybe I don't... I, I want to flesh up my supply with more... Eventually just ravens and uh, tanks. And maybe a couple of raiders. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this stuff set up. Nova slowly but surely getting rid of this. And then I can go up and drop a couple more nukes. I've got six in the bank with two more coming up. Apparently I built eight. That's wonderful. So I'm not sure how these subways work, but we'll figure it out. Well done. The subway exit is clear. Thank you, Rigel. Thank you, Rigel. cargo car should be large enough to transport siege tanks and other Get the corruptors! Oh yeah. Okay, so let's just uh, stay out of this crap. And let's see if we can get rid of the last baneling nest. Corruptors. Uh, let's just get up here and throw this down. I don't care if I die. 
I don't care if I die, it's gonna be worth destroying this. As you intended. You won't see any additional it basic is a I share okay, and I have four nukes. I might be able to get rid of all I these lurker dens, depending on how many hits they take to destroy only As one. I right, get in here and throw this down. This push. might get both of them, based on the range of the nuke. Oh, uh, almost. Uh, one more nuke. One more nuke. As long as no overseers come out, getting rid of all I the lurkers will be great. Mm, okay. It's worth just dropping these nukes. That's what they're for. Not sure what these corruptors flying around are for. Honestly, I think maybe they're there just to prevent you from. I will oblige. I think they're just there to prevent you from cheesing with liberators. I think. Let's go into the subway system and see how this works. Set up the tanks, and then we've cleared out all the available Zerg to get rid of. So I think my next step is going to be. Oh, I see. It works like a Nidus canal. My next, my next step is going to be getting rid of, or going to the next beacon to get rid of whatever remaining Zerg there are. Full position. All right, let's quick save. We only have two nukes, so it's not like we're gonna be able to do too much. Actually, I expect them to attack me again pretty soon. Which side? It seems like they attack from one side and then both. One side and then both. All right, so they're coming from the top. Let's go and meet them. And then I wanna go and expose the remaining Zerg base get rid of it so that I can maybe get rid of either Mutalisks or Ultralisks if it allows me to do both. That would certainly be nice. Okay, so let's be careful here. The Pulse Grenade is just invaluable here because it just gets rid of a giant group of enemies. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. No Overseer. Uh, okay, let's try to sneak past the Overseer. Go into the subway and just get home because apparently the subway is just like supersonic. I mean, we are in the future, aren't we? So she's faster getting back here than all of this crap. Let's go ahead and use another another uh, grenade. Okay, so now we're going to head over to the right. We've got two nukes. And once the other ones are all prepared, then we're going to be ready to go. I've got a ton of extra cash in case I need it, and I don't think I do. Let's get two more liberators. Because, again, if I want to attack, the liberators might be a good, a good thing to look at. There's another Nidus canal here. What? Okay, so let's nuke this. Oh, there's another one. All right, well, let's use both nukes in this area. Oh, oh, it's so nice. I love the emphasis on nukes. It's so fun. Okay, now, unfortunately, I can't attack air with my shotgun. But I think we're okay. We just got, we just made it through one attack. It's all about timing. It's all about timing when you attack here, I think. Okay, well, let's open up the subway then. While we wait. Okay, never mind. It was the overseers. I need to find that evidence. Mineral field depleted. If the you require more Vespin gas. They must have someone on the inside. We can't be sure of anything yet. I'll try to override the equipment security codes. Mineral after I field. Act. Depleted. Mineral field depleted. You require two more selections. All right, gas. so maybe we can get rid of these last two. Wrong Just like the Confederacy used years you ago. Intended. We have to escape, Nova. I didn't clear the operations center. Our mission files are still there. require more Vespine gas. We can use them to show the Dominion the truth. From the shadows, I come. The emitter's activating. Stadium. Okay, we're back at it. Get rid of this. Uh, no nukes are ready right now, but we have revealed. Okay, and it's way at the end, of course. Loud and clear. Ah, another subway line is functional thanks to your efforts. Make it happen. I'm gonna make a go for the experimental weapon, which I may be able to just walk to. Sort of seems Got like it. it. Uh, quick save right now. Of course we can't just walk to it. Let's go ahead and throw this down. Oh no, no, Overseer, no! Overseer, why? 
Overseer, you're the worst. We got rid of a lot of the defenders, though, so once we're back up, we should be able to just run back up there. All right, Liberators. They're helping me a lot against those Ultralisks. So what's left? Ultralisks and Mutalisks? Is that right? And that, I mean, we've got a lot of Marines that can run around and get rid of Mutalisks. I've got some... I've got some random SCVs just sort of like hanging out in the back of all this stuff. Oh yeah, all the nukes are coming ready. Uh, I might just go ahead and, and try to finish up the, uh, grab the, the plasma rifle. The sword may have been good to use. We'll see if they come from both directions this time. Nova should be up by the time they get here. Eight seconds, seven seconds. If you go out and meet the Feral Zerg, yeah, here's both sides. They usually come from the top first. If you go out and beat, meet both sides, by the time you get back to base, you're usually able to have enough energy to use a third ability, which is quite nice. Um, now the top is sort of hanging out. All right, now they're both kind of coming at the same time. Uh, let's see if we can run up here. I could have waited. Oh, I should have gone through the subway. It's too late now. So what's left? It's Ultralisks and Mutalisks. We've gotten rid of all the really hardcore stuff. It's just the shit tons of Zerglings that come. All right, yeah, and getting rid of all the Zerglings, the rest of the stuff should fall fairly easily. Let's see if we can run down here and use a shotgun blast or another pulse grenade on this group of Zerglings, or my tanks and Liberators are going to do their jobs. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right, we didn't really lose anything, per se. Let's, uh, let's go through the subway. Try to get up there, grab the pulse thing, and then we have enough nukes that we can probably take out either the Ultralisks or the Mutalisks. I'm thinking the Ultralisks. Kind of seems like the obvious choice. My, the Mutalisks are getting torn up by the Marines in the bunkers, and I've got a big group of Marines elsewhere. So let's see if we can just sneak up here and go through these little crates and pick these up. We got rid of a lot of the static defenders here. So even if we draw them in, we do this. Okay, and let's just walk through and pick this up. Cool. So now we have a plasma rifle. My thanks, Nova. This will greatly assist with my weaponry research. You mean my weapons? I mean, you're going to research it, I'm going to be able to use it and just smoke some Zerg with a plasma rifle. Anyway, I'm making... I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I've got some cuts to make because I just fail. I flat out failed my first attempt of this, but, it, you know, I mean, this is ultimately okay. I'm, I'm not entirely clear on... Come on, land, 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 land. Oh, God. Oh, God, run. All right, two Ultralisk Caverns down. We have to get rid of these Ultralisks. This is going to be... Are they going to leash? Because this is totally worth the nuke right here. Yep, they're leashing. That's too bad. Well, it's going to get these Corruptors, too. As I mean, that doesn't really matter. But uh, we're close to the subway, so we can... No, 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 please, please leave. Please go. Again, by getting rid of the static defenses, um, by getting rid of the static defenses, they don't, they don't recreate the static defenses. So if we get rid of the Ultralisks that are just sitting here, all right, that's an Overseer gone. So let's launch a nuke at this Ultralisk cavern. Hopefully this gets rid of it. Got more nukes to finish the job if necessary. Do it, just do it. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah, the corruptors endlessly spawn. Absolutely, I am, Rigel. Uh, they're coming from this side, so I have th and I have three nukes. So what I can do is hit them. Executing. Oh my God! Look how safe! Look how safe these attacks are now. They were horrifying at the beginning, and now, now they're no problem. Um, I don't have to do this. I really don't. I have nukes, so I might as well use them, but I'm probably going to need them when I cross this bridge. Okay, had a bit of a, a hiccup there. All those enemies just walked right into my nuke again. As we get rid of the static defense, it seems like it helps immensely. Okay, wait for this. Let's throw down one more nuke right here. We've got two more, and again, this will get rid of a lot of the static defenses. The Mutalisks are attacking my base. Who cares? Overseer goes down. One nuke left. Um, hmm. Let's throw it down right here. And here comes another Overseer. Wonderful. Getting rid of all that stuff. Okay, and... It's just about the Overseer right now. We're, we're a ways away from a nuke. Uh, I can't do anything about this, so I think I'm just going to leave. I think I'm just going to get in the subway. I can always walk back here if I have to. 
And there was that achievement to destroy all the Zerg buildings. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but I think it's worth getting rid of all these larger attacks. Now I've got all these Marines, I can probably move out with a large group of my stuff. Right, we can make a group of Goliaths now with my leftover money. And I could probably sa safely take that expansion, too. Uh, I think she's in the subway, right? How long are we until another nuke? Acknowledged. Quite a ways away, actually. Uh, you know... Well, let's go check this out. I, I really think it's worth... I mean, the mutalisks don't really bother me that much, though. That's the only thing. And I can't attack air, so these overseers are just slightly annoying. What if we just do this? Are they gonna, are they gonna come down here? Oh, yeah, they definitely are. I'll just run back and forth and attack these. Got it. And just be a, a general pain in the ass. Because all I mean, I'm just waiting around for nukes anyway, and I'm gonna need them probably to cross those bridges, so let's just do it. Does this work on buildings? Enemy ground or air units? It's worth trying. Oh, it does work. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I could just let the mutilisk hit me. Ultimately, it's not a big deal. I gotta, you know, maybe watch out for the broodlings, but... Okay, last spire going down, and we're gonna have nukes here pretty quick. Last spire. Okay. My scanners are showing another Zerg attack force nearby. Be prepared for it. Yeah, but I don't care about those anymore, Rigel. We, we should be fine. The Zerg cannot produce any additional mutilisks. Cool. So I'm curious to see what this attack is going to look like. It's really simple. Then I'll just... I mean, that amount of Zerglings is still scary, so I need a reasonable amount of defense at home because you can get easily overwhelmed by huge amounts of Zerglings. But I'm going to clear out this subway, and I can use it to rally my forces up to help me as we nuke our way across these bridges. Hopefully this last section isn't a pain in the ass, but there's no real time constraint on me anymore. There's nothing that's timed. It doesn't seem like the... the if anything, the Zerg attacks are getting weaker. So I really think... I think we're in good shape, but we've opened up the subway for reinforcements if we so choose. Let's see what this attack looks like. How industrious indeed. Okay, it's it's zerglings and roaches, and then there's going to be maybe some hydralisks every so often too. So let's start poking across here. Start dropping nukes all over the place. Oh my god, the overseers just know. They just know. The amount of zerg is crazy here, so I think it might be worthwhile to bring some stuff. I'll bring some Goliaths, some Marines. I could set up some siege tanks when I'm over there, too. That's going to be all my money. I can also have Liberation Zones set up. And every time we destroy this stuff, they don't rebuild it. So it's just getting rid of the Overseers, which the Goliaths can help with. I mean, they don't have anything like a Charon booster or anything like that. But regardless, it'll be great. Um, I still haven't cleared out this expansion, which maybe I could go take. But I really don't feel like transferring defenses or anything like that. What I can do is... Well, I, I don't see a reason to to even move any of this defense. We can throw these guys inside the subway stations. This is definitely one of those missions that is really, really intense as you get started. And if you don't play it just right, which means have the pulse grenade on Nova, then you're going to be in a ton of trouble. So, okay. So let's unload. Oh, that's really cool. It's it's exactly like a, it's exactly like a little uh, subway, not a, a nidus canal for, for Terran. Okay, let's inch on in, siege on up. I'm reading you. On route. Let's see what's left here. Let's see if we can just draw these fellows in. Come to me. Oh yeah, and there's those mag cannons just destroying those overseers. Wonderful. And then we got one more tank we definitely want to bring. We'll have another one as well. I'm just going to inch my way towards the objective as we are very, very well defended against the Zerg. Okay. Alrighty. And random... Random Zerg uh, buildings and defensive structures, so I might as well siege on up and move up with the Marines to defend against this. I really expected... That's okay. And the Overseer isn't moving directly towards me right now, so this is actually going to be fine. Wonderful nuke. Status report. Let's move forward and drop another one. Oh god. Oh, Nova's probably gonna die here, huh? Drop the nuke! Oh, okay. No, no, no. She's alive. She's alive. Drawn back into our units. Oh god! She's she's visible. Yikes. Okay, so let's uh let's focus on using our conventional forces while Nova gets some health back. How about that? 
Stop using corruption on me, you jerks. Okay, let's move on in. And then Nova, you're, you know, you'll get some health back. You'll, you'll be okay. The Zerg have established a hatchery close to our base. We could use that space. I'll bring it down. I don't doubt that we could use the space, but we probably don't need the money or anything, and we're right at the end. We seem to be right at the end, at least. Keep inching up. We have more nukes. I'm just going to keep dropping these. Just going to keep dropping these, because I assume there's a crap ton of Zerg. You saw how many Zerg seem to spawn in each of these areas. All right, it's time. Let's just let's just make a run for it. Oh, come on. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, you know what? I F2'd my units. That's why my Ravens got hit by that, that hatchery defense. Okay, more nukes. I've got the nukes. Let's use them. Oh, my Raven made it up here, actually. That's nice. All right. Can we do this now? Broodlings, really? Broodlings are going to stop me from, from my objective? Well, I have more nukes. Let's do this. Don't tell me I actually have to destroy literally every Zerg here. Time to clean them out. Okay, let's move my units up here to defend me. Oh, yeah, that felt good. Okay, honestly, if that's not good enough, I don't know what is. Nova, give us the last clue. They're here. The mission backup files. Then I suppose we should be going. There's one more thing. I can almost remember it. I'm going to use the rest of that terrazine now. There's no need for this, Nova. What you did was necessary. All of it. You bastard. The General is on her way. Contact Valerian. We need to talk. The color illuminates my path. What is it? she's out there more civilians will die i can't let her live no people are calling for me to step down and i will not see her become a martyr i need to handle this the right way and if more people die while we wait that's nothing to you what was your will despite what you've been through this isn't your decision nova much is at stake i have a plan and i trust you will follow your part in it understood Awaiting your command. General Carolina Davis, this is Valerian Ranks. I wish to step down.
you ask of me? But he's got a plan. He said he had a plan. What's your plan? <laughs> That was pretty cool. Uh, really interesting mission. Definitely one that can spiral out of control very easily if you don't pick some sort of AoE spell on Nova, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, yeah, pretty tricky. And uh, the story is interesting, I'll be honest. I'll speak for myself and probably a decent amount of people who are a little disappointed to feel that it's just a coup inside the Dominion. It's not, it's not some interesting Confederacy faction. It's not some sort of UED faction. It's nothing... It's nothing more complex than an unhappy general who was, you know, more complacent with Arcturus, I think is the, uh, the uh, what's implied there. Anyway, either way, it, it still is good because there's some political machinations going on. Valerian stepping down. He said he has a plan. I'm curious to know what it is. He seems like a smart guy, competent ruler, if you will. So very intrigued to see where this goes. Thanks for joining me on these three missions, and I'll see you in however many months until uh, Mission Pack 3. Anyway, if you're new to my channel... Uh, I hope you enjoy this, and if you did, make sure to check out, I have a lot of StarCraft II custom campaigns, so if you're looking for something, some single-player action to, to kind of bide your time until the next Nova Covert Ops, there's plenty of really awesome custom campaigns that you can check out. I showcase them on my channel. I'd recommend you follow the download links and check them out for yourself. Alrighty, I'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Hey folks, Jay Barino here, the third and final Nova Covert Ops map pack was just released, so I'm going to get right to it. If you're new here, I do not talk over any of the cinematics. Let's go for it. Wanted to show off the uh, the intro screen there too. It's new, very cool. My theory here is that the Tall Dream are going to come in and be really mad. We're going to try to take care of this uh, this problem ourselves with Valerian, and then Alarak's going to come in and say, "Hey, I I wanted to take care of the Defenders of Man. That was our agreement." And then we're going to have to fight the Tall Dream again. That's my that's my prediction based on what happened in Pack Two. I mean, the Tall Dream kind of swooped in and helped us, and I highly highly doubt that that's the last we're going to see from them. Maybe we'll see some manufactured conflict between the Dominion and the Tall Duran. One thing I will point out is I did read Timothy Zahn's StarCraft Evolution book that was released a couple weeks ago. It was very, very well written. I would highly recommend it to people, and it does take place after Nova Covert Ops, though I don't want to spoil anything. I wouldn't want to spoil anything about it, but it does sort of give away a small port, uh, a small portion of what happens at the end of, of Covert Ops. Again, I won't, I won't really talk about it, but I would recommend the, the book. After a lengthy investigation, Nova discovered that General Davis, a respected figure in the Dominion, is also the leader of the Defenders of Man. In this role, Davis was responsible for indoctrinate, indoctrinating Dominion ghosts, including Nova herself, and orchestrating feral Zerg and Taldrim attacks against civilians. Though publicly loyal to Emperor, Emperor Valerian, the General believed that her actions would undermine his position and eventually remove him from power. When Nova revealed her findings to the Emperor, she expected him to order Davis's assassination, but he had other ideas. In the ensuing, the ensuing argument, Valerian insisted that they follow his own plan. Alone on the Bucephalus, Valerian has contacted Davis and told her he intended to step down as Emperor of the Terran Dominion. You have not enough minerals. 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 Speak, and you will be heard. Silencers have been augmented by technology recovered from the Mobius Foundation. If discovered, it will trace back to Valeria. I am the blade of our not enough energy. I've accepted this. Awaiting your command. Redemption. And must be removed from power. Entaro Adun. What would you ask of me? Your will made manifest. Yes. The Emperor has arrived, General. In Taro Adu. As you will. It is a privilege. As you intend. the facility while they're distracted, Nova. I've got it covered. 
Take Davis into custody and bring her to the balcony before the end of my speech. Then I'll announce her arrest to the Dominion. She's not going to go quietly. She won't have a choice after this. No, I'm counting on you. I am the blade of our talents. Of me. Unfortunately, not enough energy. Not enough energy. Not enough energy. Davis's communication. Not enough energy. Be watching the speech from inside her office. However, you will have to take a long route to the compound in order to reach her. So it's either not enough energy. I'll gear up accordingly. How do I get inside? Patrols are light in the sewers located below the building. You should be able to infiltrate the area without too much trouble. Trouble at all. Okay, we got this uh, cool new menu screen. We saw this in pack two. We can kind of mouse over this and drag it around. Novo will enter Davis's compound through the sewers to avoid detection. We can drag this around and mouse over other stuff. Large hangar bay to store heavy assault weaponry and aircraft. I mean, most of the time, I, f I felt like on the previous maps, these weren't here unless there was some reason for them to be. Two terminals control the security for the door to General Davis's office. Holding cells, advanced shield and capable of containing a ghost operative. Okay, maybe that's where Stone is right now, I don't know. Davis received extensive funding for new weapons research. For science has been conducting their tests in these areas. Alrighty, so let's check out our equipment. What did we get new last time? We did get the plasma rifle. High output energy weapon. Melts targets into superheated plasma that damages nearby enemy units. Can use plasma shot to damage enemies and create additional plasma. So... We could do just a full frontal assault if we use just our grenade here. We use the plasma rifle because it's new. 